The fall of the Western Roman Empire, also called the fall of the Roman Empire, was the process of the decline from the Western Roman Empire in which the empire failed to enforce its rule. The Roman Empire, it didn't have the strength that it used to have and the exercise had the effective control over the Western provinces in the area. And some of the things that happened ended up the end. There were a lot of internal struggles going on with the Roman Empire, which ended up actually leading to the demise of the fall of the Western Roman Empire. And some of the things that happened just ended up being that it was going to end the rule of the Romans in Western Europe. In 376, unmanageable numbers of Goths and other non-Roman people fleeing from the Huns entered the empire. In 395, after winning two destructive civil wars, Theodosius I died, leaving a collapsing field of army and the empire still plagued by Goths. Divided between the warning, warring ministers of his two incapable sons, Further barbarian groups crossed the Rhine and other frontiers, and like the Goths, were not exterminated, expelled, or subjugated. The armed forces of the Western Empire became few and ineffective, and despite brief recoveries under able leaders, central rule was never, really effective, never effectively consolidated. While its legitimacy lasted for centuries longer, and its cultural influence remains today. The Western Empire never had the strength to rise again. It never again controlled any portion of the Western Europe to the north of the Alps. The Eastern Roman or Byzantine Empire survived, and though lessened in strength, remained for centuries in effective power of the Eastern Mediterranean. By 476, the position of the Western Roman Empire, it wielded a lot of military and kind of political financial type things that were going on and it didn't really have any effective power there were so many internal things poking at the roman empire that it ended up had fire it ended up forcing a collapse and some of the things that happened just ended up getting rid of the things that were going on at the time a lot in western europe but even as spread out the thing about the roman empire is it just wasn't as powerful as it used to be there were so many internal things going on which ended up making it fail the time span of the western roman empire was the process in which it failed to enforce its rule the loss of centralized political control over the West and the lessened power of the East are universally agreed, but the theme of decline has been taken to cover much wider time span than 100 years from 376. For Cassius Dio, the, ascension, the accession of the Emperor Commodus in 180 CE marked the descent from a kingdom to gold to one of rust and iron, while Gibbon also began his narrative of decline from the reign of Commodus. After a number of introductory chapters, Arnold J. Uh, Toynbee and James Burke argue that the entire imperial era was one of studied decay of institutions found in Republican times. While Theodore Momsen excluded the imperial period from his Nobel Prize winning History of Rome, as one convenient marker for the end, 476 has been issued has been used since uh, given. But other key dates for the fall of the Roman Empire in the West include crisis of the third century, the crossing of the Rhine, and the sack of Rome, and the death of Julius Nepos in 480. Some modern Roman historians do not believe that Christianity, per se, had a significant role in the empire's fall. And part of the Eastern and thoroughly Christian empire's continuation for almost a thousand years longer. While the loss of the unity and the military control is really acknowledged in this whole situation, the fall is not the only unifying concept of everything that happened. There was a lot of things that ended up going to the, to the political collapse of the Romans and it ended up making the whole thing collapse as a whole as far as po politics and the spread out region of the Romans not having the power and especially what ended up hurting the most, the influence that they used to have.